welcome back to my channel. My name is Jamie Swan. For those of you who are tuning in for the first time, we are doing my little makeup for beginners series. I'm so pumped about this. So this is based on all of your guys' most commonly asked questions as well as some of the things that I struggled with when I was um, learning more about makeup. I'm a self-taught makeup artist. I do makeup applications on bridal, formal occasions and stuff like that. I am a cosmetologist by trade and yeah, that's a little bit about me. So if you guys have not seen the other two videos, the most important, important step of all of this is your skincare. So if you guys have not seen the skincare and brows part of this, I will post in the cards on this side. You guys can click over here, check those videos out, and then come back to this video and we are going to talk about foundation and the two most popular ways to apply the foundation and also little tips for applying your foundation for different skin types. So if you guys are interested in learning a bit more about foundation, concealer, and setting powder, stay tuned for the rest of the video. Okay, so we are going to talk about the two most popular ways and my favorite ways to apply my favorite foundation. So this is the Lime Life by Alcone um, foundation and concealer palette. It's a little bit dirty because it's mine. Um, so we are going to do the blenderful beauty sponge method on one side and the buffer brush on the other side. This is a new brush from Lime Life. It is the number 17 and I am so we have already um, primed all our skin, like I said, with the proper skincare for skin types. Then we are going to take our first base makeup primer and just spray that literally on your face and this is just going to help um, for the makeup to not slip and stuff like that. We are going to go in with the blenderful side first on this side and we are going to use the flat part of the sponge. This is a yellow sponge, it's very dirty. <laughs> I just used it and I haven't washed it yet. Um, okay, so we're gonna take two little twists and what you guys will learn is that this is a very, very concentrated pigmented foundation. It is 50% pigment. Just so you guys can get an idea, most high-end brands of foundation are about 23 to 30% pigmentation. That's very high. Like usually it's around 18 to 20% pigmentation and this is 50. So you're going to get amazing coverage and fall in love with this foundation once you try it. Okay, so what I do with the sponge is just start by swiping it on just to get the product on my skin. And up on the forehead. And then what you want to do is take and pounce pounce the sponge on your face and what this is going to do is really press that foundation into your skin, into your pores, into any texture. This is especially good technique if you have textured skin from large pores or acne scars or acne. So this is going to just get it in so that you can't see all that texture and everything is just laying very smooth because if you just swipe it over top you could be missing putting all that foundation into your pores and it'll just like highlight them and make them stick out and Ha! Huh, we just don't want that. Okay, so pouncing. And I like to take what's left over on my sponge, which is hardly anything, and just kind of swipe it down my neck just to blend everything in, but I don't like to pull it down, down too far, just to blend. And then same thing, blend it out into your hairline. Um, you want to make pay special attention to this kind of area of your nose right here and just press that in and notice that I didn't pl apply a ton of uh, foundation around my eye because we're going to go in there with concealer after. Okay, so now we're going to go over to this side of my face and we are going to use the this new buffer brush number 17 and I'm just going to take a couple light swirls. You can see that my bristles are hardly bending and so what you want to do is start less 
Less is always more with this foundation, you guys. I can't tell you enough because it is super high coverage. So what you wanna do is just start by lightly swirling and buffing the product into your skin. So when you do that, I'm not pressing, notice that I'm not pressing hard and swiping. I'm lightly buffing because the bristles, there are two different types of bristles in this brush and the black ones kind of space out the white ones and just make them very like soft and just so it'll buff. So it will buff all of that product into your pores. Same with the pouncing um, technique does with the sponge. This kind of buffing technique is gonna, is just really getting that so that everything lays smooth and looks flawless. Okay, so like I said, just pick up a little bit of product at a time and swirl it on just so you get that kind of flawless look. What you want your foundation to do is to just kind of like blur any imperfections and just still keep your skin looking like skin. You don't want your skin looking cakey like you have a ton of makeup on. Awesome, and once you have the coverage that you're looking for in your foundation, then you can um, move on to your concealer. One thing that I get a ton of questions on is, so do you put your concealer on first or foundation on first, which it doesn't really matter. I prefer to put my uh, concealer on second. And why I like to do that is because I like to cover as much as I can with just the foundation, and then anything that needs maybe a little more special attention, I'll go back in with the concealer. So you'll notice that there is two, this is why this palette is so awesome. Oh, I love it. Um, there are two shades of concealer. One is going to be your skin tone and then the other one uh, I use as a highlight. So it's two shades, two or three shades lighter than my skin tone and I apply that as a highlight underneath my eye. So then I'm gonna go back in with my concealer brush on this side and just pick up some of that color and anything that maybe didn't get full coverage if you have any blemishes that didn't get um, fully covered, you can go back in with the concealer in your skin type and just pat it on the blemish and then blur out the outside border of the foundation, leaving the most amount of product on your blemish. And then for this side, if you have any blemishes, you can go in with the pointed tip of your sponge and then just sort of pat, pounce that on the area that needed just a little bit more, a little bit more coverage to it. Okay, so once you have all of those areas covered, then you can move on to the highlight area under your eye. And what I love to do is to take my ring finger and I just sort of warm it up in the compact and then I go down the side of my nose and swipe under my eye. And you guys, with this concealer, it is also so amazing and very high coverage, less is more. You do not want, I don't care what product you're using, you don't want to cake a lot of foundation or concealer underneath your eye because that's when you have creasing happening and nobody likes that. Okay, so once I have it on, then I will go back in with a brush. This one is the number five um, buffing brush. So you'll notice that it's just kind of like the little baby version of this brush. Isn't it cute? Okay, so then just go in, same light. You're being very light-handed and just buffing that all out and getting it all blended into the pores and everything like that. And make sure, especially close... Don't stab yourself in the eye. Make sure especially close to your lash line that you're really blending that out and just leaving enough product so that you're getting that highlight but not so much that it's going to crease. Okay, so then moving on to the sponge side, the blenderful side, we're gonna do the exact same thing. Bring it down the side of our nose, under our eye, and then just sort of blend it into this triangle shape like we did on the other side. Then take the pointed side of your sponge and just sort of pounce and blend that out like you did your foundation. And so this pointed part is really good for getting up close into your tear duct area. And this is, I think, in my opinion, the foolproof way of putting on concealer under your eye because if you do happen to get too much, the sponge will kind of take that away and just leave the perfect amount. And I love a sponge for under the eye. Okay, 
So now that we have on our foundation and concealer, then you want to go and set this in place. And so if you have oilier skin types, you're gonna probably want to um, really focus on the areas that you get oily. If you are a drier skin type, you are definitely going to love applying your setting powder with your sponge because it is damp. That's one thing I forgot to mention. When you are applying your foundation, you always want to make sure that you go and completely soak this under the sink, running water, fill it up with water, wring it out, and maybe towel dry it if you need to. And then you want to apply everything with it damp. So that what this is going to do is prevent it from soaking in all of your foundation. And also it's pressing that added moisture from the dampness of the sponge into your skin, plumping it. Yes, all the good things. Okay, so we're going to pick up a little bit of this powder and then we're going to apply that under the eye so this is going to make it so that your concealer does not budge it adds a little bit more of a highlight and um, also the the dampness like I said the dampness of the sponge is sort of setting that powder too so that you don't have that um, with drier skin types, sometimes a powder can accentuate fine lines and, and dryness and stuff like that. So the dampness of this sponge is going to prevent that from happening. If you prefer a brush for under your eye, then I would take, this is the number one brush from Lime Life by Alcone, but any sort of powder brush that's tapered like this, and then pick up some of that powder and ever so lightly just go and pat it under your eye you don't want to be rough because then you'll be moving that concealer around and that foundation around and you want to keep the foundation right where we put it because we have it all covering so nice. This is just to set everything in place so that your oils throughout the day don't break it down and the temperature of your skin doesn't heat it up and cause it to move. So this is just going to really lock that in place. So I usually take it under my eyes, down my T-zone and call it a day. Okay, so that is everything just for your very basic foundation concealer and setting powder. So if you guys love this video, please definitely give it a thumbs up because that helps me know what you guys like. It helps me know if you love this content and it allows me to bring you more content like this. And if you guys have not, click down there the little red subscribe button and that will notify you when I've uploaded new videos. I upload once a week. Also feel free to share this with anyone that you think might find value in this as well. I would definitely appreciate that. So I hope you guys enjoyed that and stay tuned for the next one. Bye!